In the news tonight, Base Ram remanded to prison. Police officer investigating murder of security officer and woman released on $500,000 bail for causing death by dangerous driving. News in depth begins now. With tonight's edition of News in depth, I'm Maeva Wharton. Thanks for joining us. First up, Marcus Bisram has been remanded to prison in the United States. Marcus Bisram, the mastermind in the murder of quarantine carpenter Fires Narendat, has been remanded to prison in the United States until after his extradition hearing. Bisram, who was arrested in New York on Tuesday, appeared in the Brooklyn District Court on Wednesday. News reports in the United States said the businessman was arrested by members of a joint NYPD U.S. Marshals Joint Fugitive Task Force. The Ghana Police Force had issued an arrest warrant for the businessman for his involvement in the murder of the father of two. Narendat was murdered last year after allegedly rejecting sexual advances from Bezra. Several persons allegedly hired by Bezram to commit the brutal act are on remand. Bisram's mother and a female relative of one of the men charged were arrested for attempting to bribe the police. More news on the other side of this break. Hey, looky there. Let me go to techie boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't got my favorite color. Pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Morning. Hi, honey. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. Thank you, Mommy. A heart healthy choice with no cholesterol. Abbey is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth. Spreadable, rich and creamy, Abbey is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Don't be fooled by anyone. Come to Beeson's for the best deals on all aluminum and UPVC windows. Our prices are unstoppable every time. Starting from as low as 13,500 fat inclusive. Buy 10 windows and we'll give you a 24 by 16 inch bathroom window absolutely free. So if you're a builder, contractor, or a Mr. Do-It-Yourself guy, follow the sign. Come to Beeson Windows and Doors. Lot 1228 Eccles Industrial Site for the largest variety of aluminum and UPVC windows. For more information, call 622 4197 or 226 1292. Welcome back. The body of a security guard was discovered on a pavement in the city with an apparent slit to the throat. From the crime scene and checking surveillance camera footage to ascertain who committed the murderous act. The man was identified as Sammy Powell, a security guard attached to the Transportation Protection Service who lived in Moka on the east bank of the Marara. He worked the night shift at Jai Inshan Variety Store on Robb Street opposite the general post office. Powell was found on top of a table in a pool of blood with a wound to his throat this morning just around 5.30. The discovery of the father of three was made this morning by passers-by who called in the police. After removing the body, the police quickly got down to work and get fingerprints and other bits of evidence to build their case. The air was cordoned off as curious onlookers paid keen attention from the other side. Mark Samuels, operation manager of the security service, ruled out any robbery attempt since, in his view, everything was intact. What happens sometimes when I come visiting here, you find they got a lot of junkies in the area and um, you would like kind of be aggressive to them, right? And I, I spoke to him several times and I told him, I said, when you're working out here, you got to be friendly because remember this, uh, the area is lonesome, right? So instead of creating enemies, you try to create friendship. But um, he had this, this kind of attitude, so I don't know what brought that, because you notice if you check around, there was no attempt breakage or anything of the sort. That area is frequented by drug addicts, and it's unclear if Powell was involved in an altercation with anyone. Family members of the 49-year-old man quickly rushed to the scene as the news of his death was conveyed to them. The victim's brother said this was the second brother to be murdered in his family. A big miss. The second brother get murdered. And the spell got to be killed by somebody. I don't understand. This is a bad spell for the family. Every guy loves toys. So here's a reason to get more toys. Stag Beer. Man Toys.
choice. Not one, but two cars. An Audi A4 and a BMW 320i are up for grabs. Plus, static. VR sets, flat screen TVs, motorcycles, and coolers filled with stag. Drink stag, save your crowns, and enter six stag crowns with your contact details for a chance to win in five big drawings with stag beer man toys. Conditions apply. See press for details. Caribbean rice from the lush rice fields of Guyana straight to your home. Caribbean rice, our people, our rice. Close to two weeks after her friend died in a car she was driving, the woman was today released on $500,000 bail for causing death by dangerous driving. Tacoma welcomed the driver in that fatal Lillian Dahl East Coast Demara accident was today slapped with a causing death by dangerous driving charge. This was her second appearance in the matter for the same offense. She was earlier charged and placed on $25,000 bail for driving under the influence of alcohol. The 27-year-old caregiver of 29 Austin Street, Campbellville, appeared before Magistrate Alicia George in the Spirendale Magistrate's Court to answer to the indictable charge. The court was told that on June 24th at Lillendale on the east coast of Demerara, she drove motor car PSS 7195 in a dangerous manner causing the death of Deborah Pompey. Our attorney Nigel Anthony in his bail application told the court that his client is still grieving the loss of her friend's life and should be granted bail and assure the court that Welcome would return for her trial. However, police prosecutor David Goodrich objected to bail, stating that Welcome was instructed by the police to report to the Spiral Magistrate Court after bail was granted for the driving under the influence charge, but she never showed up. Bail was granted by Magistrate George in the sum of $500,000, and Welcome will have to return to court on August 4th. That's a wrap of this edition of News In Depth. Do join us same time tomorrow for another edition.